Now, on most matrimonial websites, uh, including some of the biggest like Bharat Matrimony, Shadi.com and Jeevan Sati, you are able to create a profile for free and actually go through their databases to find prospective matches. There is only a small portion of these websites which um, have members who like to show their profile only to premium members, but majority of the members of these platforms actually have their profiles visible for even the free members, right? So what does a free membership entitle you to? A free membership allows you to register um, on these platforms and look through their databases to find prospective matches. You can see their pictures, you can see all of their information about, you know, their, their education or, um, you know, about their family, about their dietary preferences and so on. Selectively, some people hide and unhide um, access only to premium members, but uh, you will be able to see uh, some of the most basic information about most people. Now, the only point at which you will hit a roadblock is when you have to, uh, let's say, contact a prospective match, either through an in-app chat or, you know, try to get their phone number on these websites, you will find that you will need to have a paid membership. In a lot of cases, depending on the package that the prospective match has, if they have a premium package that allows their matches to contact them on chat, you are able to contact them for free even at this point. This may work out for a while, but at some point, if you don't find the right one, you will hit a roadblock, at which point you will uh, consider getting a paid membership. I just want to say that a paid membership costs anywhere between 1,000 rupees to about 6,000 rupees if you're based in India, and maybe a little bit more if you're based abroad because they adjust to um, currency of the country of residence. Um, this is after discounts, you know, uh, all of these websites run discounts all the time. And, you know, you could even inquire for a discount and they give you a discount, you know, if you're eligible for a discount. And if you think about the cost, um, surely it's not affordable for everybody. It's not affordable for the, uh, you know, really poor. But if you are using one of these websites and if you're sort of slightly um, computer savvy, internet savvy, I believe you belong to a class that is lower middle class and above, in which case, if you think about it, this is not even 1% of the entire wedding spend that you will do, um, depending on your lifestyle, right? So if you are thinking twice about spending 1000 rupees on a paid membership on, let's say, Jeevan Sati, I'd like to put something in perspective for you, right? This may not be a fair comparison, but just think about it. If if you're going to be wearing a smart shirt or a silk sari for your wedding, uh, 1,000 rupees to 6,000 rupees is probably one to three saris depending on, you know, uh, your lifestyle. So I would like you to reconsider and think of this as an investment to find somebody suitable to spend the rest of your life with and not to try to optimize for money in this particular decision because this is a really, really important decision. Now, I know that some of you like to pay up a membership fee and before you realize, three months or six months are up and, you know, um, somebody is calling you from, you know, matrimony or shadi saying, hey, your membership, you know, is up for renewal. Would you like to pay another 3000 or something like that? And people start to feel like these websites are fleecing you for money. Um, Really, that's not true. It just means you haven't spent enough time. You haven't utilized the website well enough. Um, three months is enough time or six months is more than enough time for you to actually get the best of what you can possibly get on these websites and get out. There is no need really for you to renew your membership over and over again. So if you do take this seriously, uh, please do consider this as Time well spent, money well spent if you are serious about finding yourself a partner through these websites. Now, having said that, there are plenty of ways to find partners even outside of these websites. It's just more time consuming. This is one of the most effective ways to meet as many prospective partners as possible in the shortest amount of time. And, you know, if you um, understand the efficiency this offers, you will consider this as a good investment and spend some time on a website that works best for you. 
I am also going to leave a link to uh, a course that I did called Arrange Your Own Marriage, where I spoke about um, how to go about this search, how to have an effective search methodology on these platforms so that, you know, you're able to get in and get out um, as early as possible. I hope this was useful. If you have any questions, uh, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below and I'll be happy to answer them. Um, otherwise, I'll see you next week. Take care.